Indiana's incoming governor says his campaign promises were just that, and he intends to move forward with them. Good evening, everyone. I'm Todd Connor. I'm Erica Fly. Republican Mike Pence says tax cuts and education reforms are at the top of his agenda, and he will be working to enact the tax reductions and to protect the education reforms despite the opposition from the new state superintendent. RTV6 reporter Norman Cox is live at the State House. Norm. Well, Pence says he wants to move forward with his proposed 10% income tax cut to help spur the state's economy. And he said he would move forward on school reform, too, despite yesterday's surprising defeat of Superintendent Tony Bennett. Governor Mitch Daniels introduced Mike Pence and said the two of them had had brief discussions during the last few months about how a transition would work. He promised to do everything he can to make the changeover a success. Absolutely anything and everything we can do to ensure that the uh, handoff is... Uh, flawless and that uh, high levels of service continue and that the new administration has every bit of information and cooperation it needs. Pence then promised to hit the ground running when a reporter asked if he intends to push forward with his plan for a 10 percent income tax cut. The governor-elect said he will do just what he promised during the campaign. Our roadmap uh, was really intended not just to be a campaign agenda but a governing agenda. Uh, and the short answer to the question of are we going to seek what we campaigned on is Yes. Uh, we're going to sit down with leaders in, uh, in both parties in the General Assembly, uh, and uh, uh, we'll be working to develop legislation. Although the new state school superintendent, Democrat Glenda Ritz, ousted the reform-minded Republican superintendent, Tony Bennett, and wants to roll back many of his changes, such as vouchers and merit pay for teachers, Pence says he looks forward to working with her. We are committed uh, to uh, keeping our kids first and promoting the kind of education reforms that will produce the results that Hoosiers long to see. Uh, we've made progress uh, on uh, educational outcomes in the last eight years. Pence is counting on the Republican supermajorities in both houses of the legislature to help pass his program, but one possible roadblock arose today. House Republican Speaker Brian Bosma said his members will have to determine if a 10 percent income tax cut is really sustainable when they're already committed to eliminating the inheritance tax. Live at the State House, I'm Norman Cox, RTV6.